Hello, and welcome back to our TeacherCast Educational Network series on Book Widgets. Book Widgets is an amazing application that allows you to create a dynamic range of activities for your students and share them both through Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or even directly to their email address. Recently, we published a video on how to create an interactive quiz. One of our listeners actually reached out and asked the question, how do I take that quiz and also allow my students to grade themselves, perhaps through the use of a rubric. Luckily for us, Book Widgets has a great opportunity for students to use that rubric and create one for themselves. And today, I'm going to show you how. The first thing that we're going to want to do is head on over to bookwidgets.com and click in to my account. Here we are in the create a widget section. Now, the first thing that I want to do is to create a quiz. Here we are in the quiz section. Now you can find out a lot more about how to create these quizzes in detail by clicking on the button up on the top right. We have a very detailed video on how to do this. Today, we're gonna focus on the rubric functions. I'm gonna click on add a question. You'll see here again, there's a lot of question types that you can use for your quiz. I'm gonna come up here to the filter and type in rubric. And here we are. In this screen, we have the opportunity to create a dynamic rubric that not only we can use as teachers, but our students can use as well. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my question under the question type. Here I have my question. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some criterion for my rubric. You can see here that we have four different boxes, excellent, good, fair, and poor. Each of these numbers represents a grade for the students. Now it's important to know that the student does not see these numbers when viewing the rubric. All they see is the words excellent, good, fair, poor, and they can also see the words here. Let's take a look at what our rubric looks like to this point. To do that, I'm gonna click up here on preview. And here is our rubric. We have our question, we have our criterion, and we have all the boxes. You can see that we can easily click on each of these to see how our rubric works. I'm gonna add one more criterion on here. In order to do that, I'm gonna click back on the X and I'm gonna click on the plus. Now, as mentioned earlier, these numbers up here, the students will not see. However, if you'd like to change that point value for a specific question, you certainly can. Let's say for here, student did excellent work. Let's say I wanna make that 10 points. That would of course have a higher value than all other boxes. Once I'm done with this, I have other ways that I can create and change my rubric around. I can certainly change the rationale. I can have alternate text. I can also add a hint, which is an optional hint that gets displayed when the student presses a button. I can add some audio, I can add an image, or I can adjust the way that this rubric is scored and graded. Next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna click up here under preview. So here we are back in our rubric where you can see both we have two different criteria that we can easily click through as we go through this assignment. Now let's say that I wanna do something to this. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on design and you'll see here I can change my template from light to dark. I can change my font. I can even change the background. It's very, very easy to create and change a rubric. I can of course change the border, background, title, and many other types of variations for this theme. Next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click on this arrow down here. And if I want, I can hit the submit button. Another thing that I can do is I can print this rubric. To do that, I'm going to click up here on the right under print. You'll see here that the rubric lines up in my printer queue and it looks really impressive. Something that I can even give out to my students in paper form if wanted. 
So as you can see, it's very, very easy to not only create an interactive quiz using book widgets, but also to provide your students with a rubric that they can use and you can use too. If you'd like to learn more about book widgets, we have links in the description to this and to our book widgets playlist. We're also going to be providing a link right up here on the top right. For more information about TeacherCast, please head on over to teachercast.net. And until next time, keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.